Hey guys, make sure you check out the giveaway link in the description if you're interested in finding out some more information on how every single person who wants a custom booster pack is getting one. Thank you for watching. I never thought I would wake up and have this issue, but somehow I have collected way too many cardboard boxes. See, the thing is, every time you guys send me something, whether it be in a bubble mailer or as a letter or in a box, or every time I make a Pokemon related purchase or get something from eBay, I always have the tendency to keep it. Because this aspect of my life, this Pokemon aspect, has changed me in so many ways, and the fact that some of you guys are willing to take some of your own time and money to send me something like this is absolutely mind-blowing, and so I do everything in my, in my power to keep every single little aspect that I can. Now, obviously, I keep all of the messages and letters and stuff like that in a little special box, but... I've had the tendency to keep all of the cardboard boxes as well, and as you can see, it's kind of gotten out of hand. I mean, I have over a hundred boxes, and like these are like boxes within boxes, bubble mailers within boxes, of just stuff that have been sent from you guys. And you might think I'm crazy, but there's a reason for this. Every single thing has a sort of memory associated with it. I mean, this here, this was the thing that I bought from Korea. This was to celebrate 5,000 subscribers. This here was my very first lucky box. This was my very first purchase from Yabai Japan, one of the coolest Japanese outlet stores there. Um, I, I, Ami Ami, like one of the coolest places as well. This right here, this crazy box right here, was my nine tin case opening that I did of the whole really cool legendary dog tin. All of these things have special memories associated with them. This here was my very first package, or one of the coolest packages from Carlos, and in that we got that crazy Charizard full art card. Every single little box has a meaning. And so what I decided to do was, obviously, I can't keep all of them the way they are, so I've sort of decided to flatten them out and sort of condense them all together. I don't want to throw them away because, I don't know, for something, for some reason, just, I can't do it. I, I just, I can't. So what I did was I, um, I, I sort of flattened them all out. I sort of cut out the tape so that they can all just lay flat, um, and attempt to keep them all because I'm crazy and I can't bear the thought of throwing them away. And some of you watching this right now might think I'm some crazy person and you might be right. I mean, who wants to keep empty cardboard boxes? I mean, after all, a lot of these are just empty boxes. I, like I said, I take all of the messages and letters and stuff and put them aside but I don't know something in me just wanted to keep them all because all of them have a special memory associated with them so that's what I did I flattened them all out and I'm sticking them under my bed <laughs> to make room for more I'm crazy I know I am but well this is my crazy obsession and you guys will always forever have a space under my bed so thank you for making me wake up and realize that I have issues. I collect crazy cardboard boxes, and each box has its own little memory associated with it. So thank you for all of the memories. As this year comes to a conclu conclusion and as this year is ending, I want to thank you for all of the cardboard boxes, for all of the memories, for everything. I wouldn't be here today if not for you. Thank you.